In this video, we would be going through analysis setup and result visualization. Now that we have the model completed in terms of subsystem for the IP subsystem, the transmission bracket subsystem and the connection, the materials properties defined, let's go about setting up a modal simulation for the following assembly. To do that, let me go to the model browser. click on the model browser here and create a load collector which is called as an SPC so let me right click on the white space and say create load collector and rename the load collector to SPC let me go to analyze and click on the ribbon which says constraints and let me start picking the location that the model needs to be constrained. So let me choose this rigid spider here. As you see on my screen, let me start selecting all the mounting locations where the IP gets connected to the surrounding subsystem. So I choose the rigid points and the board locations on the IP subsystem. And the same I'll do with the transmission bracket subsystem. So I start selecting the nodes to apply constraints at these mounting locations. Let me start picking the nodes here. Let me quickly review and make sure we have selected all the mount points. So as we rotate to inspect the model, another point that needs to be constrained so let me choose that and click on create so let me hit the create tab to create the constraints now that the constraints are defined I can double click to open the loads browser so you can see the SPC being created I can also go ahead and click on the loads handle on the view controls let me go to view controls and click on the text here to see the load handles which shows that the model is constrained between 1 to 6 degrees of freedom now that we have applied the boundary condition let me go ahead and create load step input let me call this as EIGRL and let me go about defining the number of modes so here in this case I'll choose as 20 and normalization I'll choose as mass method and let me create a load step I'll call this as modal analysis now let me go and set the analysis type to normal modes the SPC let me link the load collector which is SPC and method structure let me link the EIGRL card or the load step inputs that we just created let's go about defining the outputs here in this case let me select displacements strain energy and stresses Now that we have defined the load step, let's quickly export this model to see what the model structure looks like. So let's go to File, Export, Solver Deck, and let's create a name here. Let's call this as IP TR bracket. model analysis.fem and save this file and export with include format so let's click on export so let's 
I have a preview. Now that we've exported this file, you see the main file which is IPTR bracket model analysis.fem and the first file which is IP subsystem is the first subsystem file followed by TR bracket subsystem which is the second subsystem and the file with name underscore C is the connection file between the two subsystems. So let's right click and open this in a text pad and as you see on the screen is the case controls defining the analysis type and these are the three includes that we just exported two subsystem for IP and the TR bracket with their connection between the two and at the bottom we have the UDM XML defining connector information TR bracket subsystem model here and as you see on the screen this is the grid information the element information in the subsystem file at the bottom we have the connector information defined through UDM XML the same with TR bracket and the connection file basically has the 1D element through connect with its properties and materials defined. So once we submit the analysis, we have the out file here. Let's quickly review the out file. Let's scroll down to make sure have all the details and make sure that the analysis is completed successfully so as we scroll down we see that the analysis is completed we see that the first mod is around 135 Hertz and the analysis is completed so let's quickly go back to the hypermesh session copy the path here for the results let's dock subsystem browser and quickly add in a page here on the right let's go here add a page let's add hyperview on the right side so let's load the result file on the right in the hyperview window So let's go to file and open the H3D. So let's click and go to the path and load the H3D file and say apply. So we have the result files loaded on my right. So let's go to contour here and say apply to apply the model results. And let's quick setting in terms of deformation scaling reduced to 0.25 and do some settings for undeformed shape as well here so we do some settings on the contour and let's set the undeformed as features user and probably give it a color is black now that we've done the settings let's set it to model animation and set the frame rate and let's synchronize both the results and the FE model here so what I do is I right go on top and go to synchronization window and synchronize the result let's go to the result tab and go through each of the modes using the arrows that you see to toggle between different modes Mode 3, then 4, 5. So these are different frequency for each of these modes as you see. This way the analysis can be set up and the results can be visualized in hyperview.